In the previous video, we talked about finding pressure and manipulating this for area or force being able to calculate. So let's do an example here of being able to just find pressure, you know, given some data. So let's say we have a piston, okay? And let's say the piston has a diameter of 1.5 inches, okay? Piston and diameter. Okay? And say we don't want to exceed a pressure, okay, a pressure of 500 pounds per square inch. So we don't want to exceed this pressure, and we have a piston uh, that's 1.5 inches. So we want to find what's the force. Okay, so we're just really going to essentially plug into this equation. The one thing that we always have to do and pay attention to is we always have to find the area. Okay, remember the area is pi times d squared over 4, and that's if we're using the diameter. You can use pi r squared if you want. It all works out mathematically. So if we do pi times 1.5 squared divided by 4, if we substitute all this in, you should get roughly around 1.5. 767 inches squared. Alright, so now we have the area. So now we can go ahead and plug. There's no conversion or anything that we have to do with, uh, with the pressure. It's already in the correct units. So we know that force equals pressure times area. Alright, so our pressure is 500 pounds per square inch times 1.767 inches squared. So that gives us, sorry, this is inches squared here. So that gives us 884 pounds. Inches squared cancels with inches squared. So our force always has to be in pounds. Okay, let's take another example here. Let's say we want to find in our case, let's find area, okay? Or find the diameter, okay? So we have, we're going to do this one in metric. So say we have a force that is 10 kilonewtons, and we have a pressure that is 70 bar. Okay, so first of all, we have to remember that 70 bar equals okay, 7 million pascals, which is the same as saying we have 7 million uh, newton meters squared. So first and foremost, you got to find the area. Area is force over pressure. So the force we have is 10,000 newtons. Remember K is for 1,000. So this is 10,000 newtons divided by 7 million newton meters squared. It's always important to pay attention to units because units will cancel. So this ends up giving us 0 0.00142 nine m squared. All right. So we have to solve that equation for a. And what equation are I talking about? The area equation. Area equals pi times d squared over four. We have to solve this equation over here for d. All right. So the first thing we do is we're going to multiply both sides by four because 4 is divided into this. It's going to cancel over here, so we have 4 area equals pi d squared. We have to divide both sides by pi because we want to get d by itself. We're just doing the basic algebra here. So we have 4 times the area divided by pi is our diameter squared. Okay. To undo a square, we have to square root both sides. We're going to square root both sides. So when we end up with the square root of 
4 times the area over pi. That's going to equal the square root and the square cancel. That's how we're going to get our diameter. Okay? So, d over here is the square root of 4 times area over pi. Just rewriting that. Now let's go ahead and substitute in the values that we have. We have 4 times this area, which is 0 0.001429 meters squared divided by pi. And when you plug all that in, you should get roughly 0 0.04265 meters. Okay? So there's if we want to be able to um, size the cylinder. Okay? So find the cylinder size. Just to recap.